excited. So excited. We just went to IKEA to get my wardrobe. So we're setting it up. So excited. So we're here now at IKEA and we have been looking around at the wardrobe types available and I finally settled on this type of design. So now it's time to choose a color. There are three main colors available. There's white, black, brown, and brown stained ash effect. Now it's time to plan your wardrobe. You can do this by using any of the computers at IKEA or you can do this from your home as well. So this is how we plan the wardrobe. So you can go to IKEA wardrobe planner and then you can actually just input the size or the dimensions of the space that you have and then you can have here all the products that are available. So this is the one that I chose and then once you're done designing this, you can print in the information and it will show up like this. So you can have this would be how it would look like. The next part will be what products you would need and then you can just go on their website in store to find where these are located for pickup. The total price and this would be like where you would put in the holes to attach like the railings or the hangers and then also which holes you're gonna use for where you're gonna put the drawers. And that's it. So it was really fun making all these. Hi, so Hi guys! So excited! Look at this <laughs> our driving situation right now. <gasps> we just went to IKEA to get and my wardrobe. After four years. Four years? No way. After three years, we're finally getting my wardrobe. So we're setting it up. It's gonna be a DIY wardrobe system using IKEA. So excited! So well, this is how my current wardrobe looks like. So messy. I have too much stuff, I guess. And now we are moving into this one and building a wardrobe here. So right now it is empty for all the stuff that's gonna go in with the wardrobe. Some organizing stuff in here as well. I'm very excited to see how it's gonna turn out. We had such a hard time removing this kind of screws. <coughs> Apparently, those are like infinite screws. You just have to pull them out with pliers and they come off. You don't need a screwdriver for it. <sighs> we were finally able to remove those uh, the rack and the brackets. For us to build this one, we're gonna build the base first. Okay, what's inside? I'm like opening the manual right now. Oh, oh shit. What does it say? I'm just at the warning part, not yet at the. Okay, you need a flat and a cross. What's this? Uh, lever. Lev pang level. Do we have that? Nope, we don't need it. Uh, a martillo. We a do? pencil, tape measure. You need a stairs. Well, we have this one, the drill. The drill, no What's way. This? That, is, I don't know what that is. Oh, um, something. Okay, so this is what we need to do. I'm not gonna. Because I was like. Trying to tidy up kanina and Like, come I, on, but you put it back like, are you gonna that? return this? Like, come on, no. man. Okay, so we figure it out. We have to, first step is to put the wall brackets. I guess that's how it is. And then we were trying to figure out where to put it. Ready? Does it fit? See, there you go. So that one is actually useful. One is we are gonna put screws on the middle and on the sides. Middle, what middle? Go. This one? This one? Um, yeah. It's on the top, top most part. According to here. At the bottom, it's like the third from the bottom. 
Like this one. One, two. There's one more. Three. Bakit dalawa tong binigay mo sa akin? No, there's like we're gonna use all of them. This one. Ito pa. On the top. One is you put it second to the last. Second to the left, I think. So oh, I put wait. it in the middle. This Why one, is right? It there? Hey, come on! You said in the middle. Oh, balikted pa lang picture. No, so different yung nasa middle. Like, come on, man. So, ano yan sa pinakadulo? Ay, come on. Different yung nasa picture. So, you put it, yung by the bracket would be the, yan, so dulo na side. And then, and this one would be second from the dulo. Like here. According to this side. Next is, sa baba naman. Tignan mo tong picture. Where's the ridge? Where's the ridge? Oh, the ridge. On the other side. Right side. And you can start building here. Okay. This one. And this one. You have to do the bottom one. That one. I don't think that's the one. It goes like this. No, not there. Yeah, it does. It says the like ridge. Hand balik to the oh, well. ridge. Okay. And then that would be. Oh, you put it on the ridge? On the other side. On the top. Other side. Other side, because this would be the top part, and then this would be the bottom, right? No, but this one wouldn't fit. Well, no, that's where you have to put the other one first. You can see here, there's no other. See? This one won't here, fit. Here, don't have any other see, hole. See, this, this one won't fit. That's why you have to pok pok it. You pok pok it, I think, this way. No! That's not the way, hun. Tignan mo, there's no other hole here. This is pok pok. We have to make sure na this is right. Yeah, so, see here. Look, look at the direction of the ridge. Yung makapal, ridge. yung nasa taas, right? Yeah. So that would be the bottom part where you pok pok this one. Mm hmm And then all oh, that side, okay. Oh my gosh. So like, this one. Who is the IKEA director here? So it doesn't matter. Okay, sabi dito, you have to pok pok it. It cannot, it cannot be may mataas na part. So it should be like, I mean, which doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. You just have I, to pok pok that one. Oh, sorry, auntie. Give me the... I think this is it. Because it just can't be raised like this one. There's so much noise. We were able to put it like close to the... There, you can see. And then now we have to put the screw like this. Okay. Ikot, ikot, the screw. Man, that was like so much noise. Before we did that, I actually went downstairs to our neighbor just to make sure and like tell her that we're gonna make so much noise because we're building a wardrobe here. And she said she was fine. We're not even noisy at all. But then he, she went out probably like, But then ah. she's like going out anyway. Probably she already heard it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next part is this wooden um, slats or whatever you call them. The narrower one, like there. Apparently, there's two ways to build it. If you have a lot of height here, you can build it lying down, or you can build it like this. One will be holding the top. I think we're gonna do this part because then it would be easier for us. And I have to put the feet. Hold on, you have to put it at the last bottom holes yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have to secure it first, like really secure. This one. You can remember that. Okay, now we put up the feet. We actually did it in the other way first. Then we realized that there will be a space. So you have to flip it around. Oh, finally, we have the base up. <laughs> we have like a quarter of it done. Finally put the screw so now it looks tighter. Finally, we were able to set up the other side. Oh man, it's really tough if you don't have a lot of space to work with. And we don't have a step ladder. <laughs> so it's hard because both of us are short. Okay, we have it now. Uh, built the base. Uh, built the base. And, and the then frame. this one, the frame. So we have to put the back. Yes, now that's the only missing part. How is it building so far? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> So like, hard. Come on. So many misreader. 
<laughs> like, come on. Here the back. That, there's a black ding dong that you use to hold the nails so you could put the nails exactly on in the right spot the right spot so you could nail it on the right spot you how are we doing with the nail situation oh my nails look at my nails they're not done like come on i have to do to money and petty like money 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 Come on, man. Come on, you should do some mani pedi. We have 50 nails and we have to use all of them. You have 50 nails? I only have 10. <laughs> no, here! And we're finally done with this one. The next thing that we're gonna do is the divider. So this is the one that we're planning to build next. This should be easy. We are gonna put it like this. Side. This should be easy until someone makes a mistake. Like, come on. <laughs> Come on, make it shoot. Just put it like this. Ito yung muna. Okay. And then put it on the right side. Now we have to put this on the 25th hole. It says count from the bottom, bottom one and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Yeah. Tama. Okay. Next one here. The top part. It says here the rough side should be facing me, and then now it's this. Oh, I need three screws. How come the screws here are different? Uh oh. I think we used the wrong. <laughs> like come on, man. No, that's right. Oh, is it the same? Oh yeah, there's six of them. <laughs> I'm like, why does it look different? Okay now. So we put it three. One. Two. And then three. And that should go on the top, top like that. Okay, now we make it like that. There. You got it. Oops, that's good. Okay. And then make it lap it there on the white too. Should be on the whole side. Like, come on, man. Oh. On 25. <laughs> oh my god. Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Count 25. You have one job. <laughs> Ito kasi binilang ko, ito ho, tapos ikaw yung naglagay nito kanina. No, I didn't put it. Hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Take three. Okay, round three. Yeah. Okay, that. Come on, man. Finally. And then na siya. Oh my gosh, IKEA is testing our relationship. Hey, come on, man. Someone doesn't know how to count 25. Ikaw kaya yung naglagay nitong spot na to. Ako yung nag-count kanina. You were counting. Like, come on, man. Sabi mo, ito na. Screw na. Like, what the heck? Last part, securing the bottom. Does it have even a hole? Like, come on. That's what it said to put it there. Like, I'm just following IKEA instructions. I don't think there's hole in it. It just said to put it there. Maybe it's gonna put a hole just... So. No, don't have to put it. Okay, we're left with two screws because Dimitri thinks we don't need to put it there at the bottom. So we're gonna build is the divider that would go here. But actually, we should determine what height it should be. This one is the instruction for this. So what? Another blooper. <laughs> Coming to life. Now we're building the shelves. So we're gonna put the brackets first. Then we're gonna build the actual shelf. We have the slider set up or the brackets, whatever they're called. Now we're ready to build the drawers. Add another blooper. Like, come on, man. <laughs> That's why I keep wondering where is this white thing supposed like, to go? Come on, man. Apparently, it's a cover and for it's, this. 
It's gosh, we are almost done. He's trying to fix this one, the brackets, because we need to insert the white one again. Take two. But we finally inserted the drawer, and it's working. Your knee up. Open. Close. Uh, two more. Okay, just putting in the last drawer. Uh, almost done. Here. Here it is. Finally done. So I used the top to organize this blue one here actually contains the scarves that I use for fall and winter and the black one would contain like the long socks that I use with boots, um, tights and then on the other blue one I use that for the irregular size purses or like makeup or other pouches. This one, the sliding one. I used it for some scarves, like the lighter ones. And then I have here um, my white coat, white robe, some robes for summer, long dresses. Um, the middle one would be dresses as well. And on the right side would be the tops. So I arrange them usually by colors, white, brown, black grayish and then like roji beef and then I arrange them by usually by sleeve length and then I still have to, to organize my makeup stuff the top one I placed here the tops that I'm using right now um, this side would be for not for work and then this right one would be for work and these ones would be the bottoms so the left side would be like skirts, shorts, jeans, and then this one would be the ones that I use for work. And the third drawer would be my workout clothes. So I also organize them by colors. You could see these ones would be the top shorts and then capris, long pants, and then by color as well. And the last one would be, okay, that's like swimsuit goggles. Um, these ones are like tank tops that I use. These ones are sets, so I bundle them up together. These ones are like nightgowns. These ones are long shirts and, oh, pajamas. Pajamas and um, leggings. This part is, the bottom one is actually like other skincare stuff. And then, at the bottom of the dresses are my purses. So I have there my backpacks. I have a couple. Um, I have a couple of long champ purses as well there. And the ones in front are the smaller ones that I normally use whenever I go out. And that's it. We're happy with how it all turned out. Now I feel much, much more organized in my style. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks!